Hey everyone and welcome to the post-race chat of the Brazilian GP. Uh, we've got Srivatsan for the first time ever as a race winner. We got uh, Accelerate who crossed the finish line in P3, not rare to the podium. And after quite some time, we've got UK who was, who's on the podium, uh, who finished P2. And we've got Gauts as well, who was the race engineer for Srivatsan, who drove the Red Bull car. So the voice in the years of the race winner. How did that go, Gauts? How was it uh, playing that role? Well, it was actually quite fun, to be honest. Um, I was getting quite bored at home and I mean, I haven't raced in a while. So I thought, let me get involved somehow. And then the role of the race engineer kind of helped to remove the boredom. And at the same time, I mean, yeah, it was quite fun. Although I did want Sika to get a podium as well. Mm -hmm. uh, he kind of got disconnected of Discord after a while. So we couldn't communicate with him. Okay. So, yeah. yeah. Um, I think qualifying was uh, looking very promising with um, both the Red Bulls possibly. It seemed like both the Red Bulls would uh, have a front row lockout, uh, so to speak. It, it seemed like it. Uh, but yeah, unfortunate there. But Srivatsan, uh, tell us how important was it for Gauts to be there in your radio and help out as you took the race win? I think uh, we did... Uh help in easing some pressure off because it, it was not a really a tough race to you know uh, win it was not like i uh, won in turn one and then i just started pulling off it did happen but you know there was a vsc there was an sc as soon as the sc came out there was a question if i should fit or not or what should the strategy because uh, young safety car out and people could be going for one stop strategy and we all saw that there was a rain uh, forecasted at the end so i'm so you guys wouldn't have known that there was going to rain in the end uh, we all were well aware that there's going to be uh, rain at the end. So, yeah, uh, it did help having another mind uh, guiding on what what should be done. He also did help me a lot on how I should manage my fuel and stuff, uh, when I should start pulling, uh, pulling off and try to increase the gap behind me so that I am in a comfortable lead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dude, uh, at the whole, it, it was uh, it really helped in helping easing of pressure because I have never uh, led a race like that for such a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, uh, the safety car restart uh, we had it was the first time I I was ever in the front of a safety car restart doing it off. So yeah, it did uh, it did help to have another voice helping me out in that race. Okay, great to hear. Uh, more questions on Sicknick as well to you, God. So now, uh, but accelerate. You finishing P3 means that Big Man Joe is right now the constructor, sorry, the driver's champion uh, in the War Racing League. And going into the next couple of races, you have a, uh, quite the rivals right behind you who are out there for P2 in the driver's standings. How did Brazil go, first off? And what do you think about Big Man Joe winning the title? Uh, yeah, uh, first of all, congratulations to him. I think we all knew that he was going to win it. Like, my chances of winning it was, it wasn't there, honestly. So, yeah, congratulations to him. Well deserved. Um, and I think Brazil qualifying wasn't that good. I qualified maybe P5 or P6. Uh, but first lap was pretty good, yeah. And had some good battles. And yeah, it was it was fun actually. Really enjoyed that one. Yeah. All right, podium and the less rusty Nish uh, not finishing the race probably played in your favor going into the title. Uh, you know, uh, com uh, competition itself. KDB is a bit uh, way off as well, but Rusty Nish seemed like he was uh, closing in to you for P two. Um, Going into Abu Dhabi and also Germany, do you think you can still seal it? Still be second in the drive standings? Um, honestly, um, I'm not really looking at that anymore because um, if you're winning it, then you look at it. But like, if you're not winning it, then it's not really... Um, P2 is still very good and I'm going to maximize everything in the last two races. But yeah... Um, just going to have some fun in the last two races yeah. and give all it right. my all. Awesome. And of course, UK, been quite a while. Been quite a while. Yes. Yep. Podium. Back. Yep. Podium once again. How does it feel? How did Brazil go? Uh, like, uh, 
this was this is like my third race on the wheel so like i was not very uh you know ready like uh, i'll get a podium i i didn't think i'll get a good result so i was just like uh, ki i'm still p7 in the standing so i'll just go with the flow make keep it clean without any penalties and uh, so what happened uh, in the quali was uh, i was p1 for a moment there but then people started setting up faster lap times and then uh, my third hot lap i was four tenths up mm, uh, i would have been like uh, p4 at least mm-hmm. so uh, i was four tenths up and then i bent it at the ss so uh, it's on the, there on the stream ki i'm i'm touching the barrier my, i didn't have my front wing so i just retired there and then at the race start uh i think shivasan was alongside me mm-hmm. so since brazil is a narrow track uh, i had a no, no, no. start i i was in the front car i was alongside bastish then sick me goes uh, one yeah it, one it, of the red bulls was alongside me so i had the better sta- start amongst us okay and then uh, uh brazil being a very narrow track we occupied all the space but shivasan uh, sickney was still uh, like half a car length uh, this alongside me so what some uh, so i think i saw a proximity arrow or someone was trying to overtake but because uh, of us to occupying the whole track couldn't and then at turn 1 i see accelerates front wing coming alongside and I, and i also see rustinish just going wide off the track so mm-hmm. i try to capitalize and you know keep it clean and then soon after at turn 3 Uh, i see vex and uh, mr vex fighting it out and mr vex goes a bit wide off the track so i got a bit greedy and then i sent it but uh i spun around myself and lost my wing so it was mm-hmm. damage control from there onwards but uh, uh mr vex then uh, retired later on in the race and the sc was called out so it helped me a lot and then even my strategy i extended my mediums for 24 laps i think and then yes uh then went to the soft so i was catching around 3 tenths or 5 tenths a lap to shivatsan but then rain started coming down so i was being very cautious so as not to spin out mm-hmm. because accelerate mm-hmm. was behind me and is is better than me in rain so i was like okay let's just chill out but yeah in the end p2 not bad at all I I know you had like your eye on the constructor cycle more than the driver cycle for a long <laughs> yeah. time and you and Seto have given your all uh, for it cuz you all are possibly one of the teams which actually consistently came both drivers consistently came to races and scored points and stayed in the same team and this podium you know probably actually helped that helped it in your favor cuz big man Joe was absent as well and he doesn't necessarily have a teammate coming and racing too often um the auto on that itself i think renault is right up there with uh, competition but i think going into the next season this is going to matter more but still just your thoughts on the constructors fight yeah so like uh, for the uh, brazil group e uh, and the usa uh, setu is having exam so he's not available you know he's not coming for racing mm-hmm. but then he he always texts me before the race is like good luck and all bring those points Mm-hmm. and um, as i was doing the i was doing the constructor sheet so i just noticed that we have uh, like top 3 have very little difference in points so yeah uh, like i don't know how danny man is you know one man army getting into the top spot but yeah it's 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 fight the fight still is going on and we hope to you know come p2 at least or p1 mm-hmm. currently p3 so yeah yeah uh, okay cool got one more question for you uh, in a bit gauts you mentioned how you wanted siknik to be on the podium talk us through how siknik's race went cuz he went uh, he was actually doing pretty well uh, in the race start but then he had something happened and he actually fell quite a bit true so basically in the beginning uh, initially in quali there wasn't much of a plan but the plan was for shivi uh, who was the faster car at the time to start p2 instead of p1 because it's always easier to take the inside line uh, into turn 1 in brazil and it worked out in his favor perfectly um and about siknik yeah i mean the race started well and then there were a few small mistakes here and there i think he got a few penalties along the way but uh, he was driving really well and uh, 
I was also telling him about when to slow down the pace and save tires and when to actually pick up the pace and catch up uh, with the car in front and pull away from the car behind. Uh, he was in quite a heated battle in between with Rusty Nish as well, which uh, mm-hmm. applied a lot more pressure. And I think it ended up with Rusty Nish hitting the barriers and mm-hmm. doing his front wing uh, later into the race. Yep. But uh, yeah, the strategy uh, was pretty decent though. The strategy did work out well. Uh, Shri Watson, the idea was to undercut Rusty Nish. Uh, Shri Watson to undercut Rusty Nish because he was leading the race. And uh, I didn't exactly know when Rusty Nish would be pitting. Uh, but then I kind of saw that he was struggling with his tires. Asked Shri Watson to pit and uh, he pit immediately. And Rusty Nish also pit in the exact same lap. So again, that worked out in Shri Watson's favor. And uh, Siknik, yeah, he was really confident with the softs. I think he used those softs for about 19 or 20 laps. Uh, I wanted him to pit about two laps after Srivi, but then the, I mean, the positions in the race really wouldn't favor that. So he said, yeah, I can go on longer. And he did go on for another lap or two without pitting, and it did work out well in the end. I think, if I'm not wrong, he came P4. Mm-hmm. I and don't he, think he came P4, okay. Yeah, he did P4. Okay. So I think he could have come P3. Uh, mm-hmm. He could have come P3, but Accelerate and UK are obviously too good. <laughs> so yeah, a good set of points for the team itself. Then, uh, yeah. before we go into the change of format going into the next season, um, Shivats and, and Accelerate, how has it uh, been? You know, just in uh, in comparison of two extremes, right? Like. You're in the Toro Rosso, Shrivi's in the Red Bull. They'll have gone wheel to wheel before. Um, performance wise, the cars vary quite a bit, considering it is realistic performance. But going into equal performance, how do you think the league's going to pan out? Uh, it's going to be insane because, uh, take my word on this, uh, the, margins of this uh, the margins of difference is going to be really, really, really impressive. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, like the strategy I used to adapt uh, when we had uh, equal performance in BRL, uh, say season one, season two, or season three, was uh, minimal mistakes, better results. So you know, I used to completely chill out uh, going into turbo. I didn't even care about quality at that point of time. If you ask me, uh, the, uh, these days quality uh, in the current season quality matters a lot as to where you start. But in those days, it was all about even if you start behind, the person who makes the least number of mistakes is going to be on, is going to be on the podium for sure. So, yeah, the margins of difference are going to be very, very, very less uh, next season. And it's all going to be about who makes uh, less of mistakes. You can see that a uh, uh, lot of people are improving on their time priorities. Uh, Rusty this uh, gets really, really less time priorities. I myself, I've been trying to... You know, get the you know, Suzuka was perfect for me. I did not end up with any time penalties. Uh, Brazil, I did get one, so not the perfect case. I was trying to push away, pull away, and I ended up getting uh, one time penalty. But yeah, uh, yeah, drivers are going to be clean. Drivers are going to be fast. Drivers are going yeah. to be equally fast. So it's it's going to be really close. Uh-huh. Right. You can all yeah. wait for you know nail biting finishes and all that stuff. All right, looking forward to it. Accelerate, do you uh, feel the same considering you're in a comparatively not so uh, great car than Sri uh, Yeah, I, I agree with uh, Sri Vatsan there. Um, I think the most um, significant thing that like you can notice will be uh, the deg. Like with mm-hmm. realistic performance, um, I usually have to like drive the tour also with like that I heat up the tires like literally to the edge where it will slip off and there's the maximum grip. So that's why um, I can like pull out the lap times like that um, using like higher tire temps and like getting it more um, heated up. I use up the tires pretty fast as well. Mm -hmm. So bringing back the equal performance, I think that'll help with the tire dig and yeah. I can drive with much lower tire temps and keep the tires fresher. Awesome. Yeah. And it being in F1 2020 is going to uh, have a whole different factor to it too, I'm sure, the next season. Uh, yep. Looking forward to it. But UK, tell us how it's been, the switch from keyboard to wheel. 
Ah, uh, it's it's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Like uh, sigh of relief. I can't describe it. Yeah, it's it's I can't describe it. Like yeah, mm-hmm. it does. You know, like exhaust you a lot. Like uh, shoulders paining and your feet paining, but then what you get from it is is it's just beautiful. You know, like. turning into the car and giving the, the perfect amount of throttle and yeah it's just amazing you know I like on keyboard it was just like as i've said before it's 100% throttle or brake so there's nothing much to do here but over here i'm trying to you know maximize everything out of each corner and increasing my uh, lap times so yeah it's been a, it's been helpful you know mm-hmm. yeah and think about you actually scored a win being on the keyboard So yeah. equal performance next year is going to be quite, uh, quite yeah, the show. Yeah, I also want to go back to equal. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm very sure y'all all are happy about it. Um. But yeah, speaking about next season, all of y'all are going to be drivers, including Gouts, I'm sure. And uh, one of the things uh, about next season in specific is that you know we're going to have team principals and the way teammates are going to be assigned and everything's going to be different. So if Each of y'all could pick. If each of y'all could pick, who would y'all pick uh, in the league to be your teammate going into the next season? You can start. Uh, let's just go from accelerate. Why don't you start up? Then we go UK, Gouts, and Shivatsan. Um, I think I've had only one teammate until now, so I'll still choose Brihit. But guess as a what? Ta- yeah, but Thunderbird is not going to be competing next season. Oh damn! Yeah. Um, Tough I'm you? happy with I, I'm happy with uh, a, a, anyone actually. Uh, like um, the easy answer. <laughs> yeah. If, if if we both uh, if I have a teammate, then we're both going to be looking into the constructors and uh, someone who will like obviously like do the teamwork. Mm-hmm. And okay. if he is faster than me in some circuits, I will let him by like for sure. Like right. thinking about the constructors. Mm-hmm. If I'm P1 and he's pushing me from the back, then I'm obviously defending because I'm not <laughs> give up the win. Of course, UK. What about you? Uh, yeah, even I would like anyone. But uh, in race to zero, our KDB was my teammate. Uh, just a minute. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So in race to zero, our KDB was my teammate. So like, yeah, we had a pretty good rapport going on, and yeah, it's it's pretty much fun in the radio, you know, with him. We joke around a lot, and mm-hmm. I don't know. I'm I might even want to, you know, like uh, Shivasan to be there, you know. Uh, I've heard good stories about it, you know, how team radio is. I'm pretty sure that radio is going to be like the funniest radio in the league if you and Shivasan <laughs> are in the same team. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, go. It's all about you. You got any favorites in the league you would like to team uh, with? Work with? No favorites per se, but I mean, if we're looking at constructors and looking at uh, this performance season, then obviously I want either KDB or Big Man Joe or UK on my team <laughs> because they're carrying their teams alone. I mean, UK is not Seto who's also doing really, really well, and Accelerate mm-hmm. as well. I mean, they're all legit just the raking up the points for the constructors. But otherwise, me and Mr. Vex have a really good uh, rapport. Um, uh, with the team, and yeah, she was in really fun, so <laughs> there's that as well. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so again, I wouldn't really mind anyone being my teammate, but with that criteria, if I'm looking at constructors, either big man or KDB, because they, I won't have to do most of the work. <laughs> They'll just carry okay. the team. <laughs> okay. So, not a not a fan of doing all the work now, are you? <laughs> a fan of doing all the work, but I don't really have the skill, <laughs> so. Uh-huh. I'll just do what I'm doing, and you know, <laughs> that's how it works. But yeah, otherwise anybody would be cool as a teammate. Me and Rusty Nish have also sort of uh, talked about being teammates, and it's, oh. it's, I mean, we've also got a pretty good rap on track. The two drivers who fought off for the Ferrari seat wants to be teammates. Now that's new. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we've spoken about that multiple times, being teammates oh. in Ferrari. But I mean, clearly the Ferrari seat doesn't want me. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. Next All season right. Ferrari might want you. No, next hey. season no. <laughs> I don't want the Ferrari. Depends on who's TP. <laughs> oh no, Depends but then again, it's equal performance, so I don't think it really matters next season. Yeah, that's true. That's true. 
Yeah, so but I'm pretty sure. To look forward to. Pretty sure some of y'all are gonna be like attracted to certain teams as uh, cars. Anyway. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> See what's in. Who who's in your mind? You can. Well, you know, talking about me, uh, of course. Can I... <laughs> can I say something? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, talking about uh, Ferrari and the Ferrari seat. You actually think about it right now. In the first race of the season, me and Rusty Lish were in a Ferrari, and we both were driving a Ferrari. I, I know. After winning the last race, I was just wondering, what if that dream car had continued? Yeah, so that exactly. that would have been really crazy, you know. Us both uh, still in a Ferrari, possibly me with, uh, uh, you know, without any technical issues in a Ferrari with Rusty, this would have been uh, crazy, out of the world stuff. But uh, mm-hmm. yeah, I, I was thinking I mean, we are parting ways, we are fighting for the win in different teams. Uh, I, I I I was wondering what if we had stayed in the same team as Ferrari. But interesting, uh, Sipnig uh, has been a good teammate. Uh, I'm not like. Keeping on track, even on track, the, the rapper has been good. Like uh, he has uh, let me pa- pa- pass when I was faster in Russia, for example. Uh, he has helped me out a lot. And more important than that, he wanted me to be in Red Bull. That's uh, really an important factor. I would not have Red Bull or means to get the win I got uh, last Sunday if Sikhnik did not push for me to be in the Red Bull. So. Yes, uh, uh, coming to that factor, uh, he has been a really good teammate. So, any one of these two, obviously, other interesting, uh, attractive options are out there. Uh, you know, I, I, I can have goats to V2 also have a good repo. And uh, UK, I don't have to say any day I will prefer kids. Uh, so, that's there. I, I, I think, you know, I, uh, I, I am I'm not sure who the team principals are going to be. Uh, but I'll just tell them this. Uh, do do not overlook me. Uh, I am a very interesting package. So okay. I am a ra- I am a race winner. I am a race winner in VR now. I I have raised my name in uh, VR industry. So do not overlook. Mm-hmm. Quite quite the message out for the team principals. Uh, and on that note, if you all don't know, just just to give you all like a surface level information with regard to team principals, you can opt out from being a team principal. And you can be a team principal and a driver as well. But a full document and a video along with it uh, will be sent your way soon enough. And with that, we wrap up the post-race chat with the drivers, the podium finishers of the Brazilian GP, and on to Abu Dhabi. Cheers. Thanks for that. Cheers. Bye. Thanks for that, man. Yeah.